Okay, so a lot of us have been to Sevier County. You know, there's all these shows, a lot of really great entertainment out there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Kyle Granger is here now to tell us about one group, you know, that's about to show the world their talent. And they want to take Pigeon Forge basically to the rest of the world say, hey, here's what's going on here. The singing, the dancing, acting. All of this show is America's hit parade, and the world will soon get to see it. America's hit parade at the Grand Majestic Theater takes you on a journey through the 50s and 60s. Now this cast heads to New Zealand and Las Vegas. I'm very excited because it's going to be my first time out of the country. <laughs> I've never been on a plane for 12 hours, so I'm a little nervous about that. For most of these young entertainers, they've never been on stage in front of an international audience. Skylar McAllister has been performing in Pigeon Forge since he was 10. I don't know about the food, I don't know about the landscape, but I'm guessing it's going to be absolutely amazing and like really cool and beautiful. He's excited about his solo and just how this new audience may react. The fact that I'll be performing a solo like outside of the country for like other people is going to be really cool for me. Jackie Miranda and her husband produce the show, and Jackie performs in it. She says she's proud to show off their talents. I'm excited to show them that we have a young cast who can sing the 50s and the 60s, doesn't matter how old you are, and they can still sing those songs and deliver it as if they were in that time period. But for this group, it's a learning experience of other world cultures. I think their reaction will be different. But I think they'll definitely still um, love those money notes and when people hold out things and they have that uh, shining moment because we all have shining moments in the show. Corey Clark joined the cast in January and never knew by September he'd be sharing a bit of America's culture on a world stage. Share a little joy and light while we're over there. Um, do what we love to do. Yeah, I want them to remember this was a place in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, didn't have to be Hollywood, didn't have to be somewhere like New York, and we brought a show to them that they could enjoy. I'm just enjoying that. Yeah, <laughs> some great talent in that show, and of course, they left today flying out Tyson, McGee Tyson Airport. Look There's the cast flying out there, all awesome. excited, all smiles. Uh, the cast, they leave, they're going to be gone for just a couple of weeks. Okay. They'll come right back and perform, okay, so I was don't worry. Ask, if yeah. you want to see the show, uh, you'll be able to see it uh, in the coming weeks. All right, well, safe travels, guys. Yeah, good luck to you. I know they're going to be uh, experiencing a lot of different things around the world. It'll be fun for them, for sure. Always tracking. Always alerting. Locally weather. All right, so a lot of people in bed getting ready for that work week. School ahead. What do they need when they School go to the bus stop? School tomorrow. Some of you might want a light jacket because 62 is going to feel kind of cool Whoa. for a lot of people on the outside. <laughs> Definitely different than waking up in the in 70s, which we have done uh, for the past little while. Uh, outside this afternoon, we had a couple of showers that came through. Here's the sunset with a few clouds that were remaining over in Blunt County. Thank you, Gary Everett, for sharing that with us tonight.